name is Patrick Merriman. I'm the production electrician for the Vivian Beaumont. So I work a lot directly with the lighting designers in the early phases. So we'll go back and forth and of course have to price the shows and hit the budgets and uh, work with Jeff a lot on that also. Uh, and then once the show's priced out, we go into the shop and, uh, and we crew according to the size of the show and how much time we have to prep the show. And I think in the quality of the productions that we've done here across the last 25 years, it's obvious that we do provide a, a very needed niche for American theater and practicing artists to like realize things larger than you could do in other places. It's a very supportive environment here. When we get into production, it's long hours, but it's very supportive. We are very good on the fly, changing up and adjusting as we need to when we go in to any production. Which cuts across, it's not only electrics, it cuts across all the, uh, all the departments here, in, uh, from the front of the house to the back of the house, between carpentry, props, and, and everybody else being extremely flexible and able to like, change up at moment's notice, and go a whole new direction, and make it look like we never did a switch. For me, one of the biggest challenges happened pretty early on, which I think was my third show here, which was Twelfth Night. It was, a, it was a massive set, but there was a lot of water. So the whole deck was, I think it was a 60 by 60 pool, plus a, two other pools, and water and electricity don't really go together. With all the water, it was like, a, I used to kid with the guys, it's like, I don't want to be known as the guy that like electrocutes America's sweetheart, which is a hell and hun at the time, and they, they made the grand entrance up through the water, down through with the high pressure mist system. And yeah, that would be bad. A bad way to start my, <laughs> start my tenure here at Lincoln Center. Coast Utopia was another big challenge because of the, the size and scope of the project, trying to get the first show up working with three different designers as opposed to one, so each, each segment had a different designer, so it took a lot of collaboration on the front end between Brian McDivitt and Natasha and Kenny Posner, because we had to get a system that they could all three be happy with and live with. But there was a lot of talking going on in advance of the production to get everybody on the same page, that they would all have stuff to make it unique, each section unique to them. I love South Pacific, it's spectacular. It's, it's a good run, it's a good cast, it's just a good, good gang of people to be with. There is nothing like a day, nothing in the world. There is nothing you can name. And every time you do a show like South Pacific, you just wonder what are we gonna follow this up with? Which was true after Contact, but then after Contact, we followed it up with Light in the Piazza, Coast of Utopia, and on to South Pacific, so. I don't know what it will be, but I'm sure we're going to follow it up with something equally as spectacular in the future. <laughs>